Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. You heard the beautiful Henio Mariacki played by Chad Makov. Welcome to the Polish Festival. My name is Richard Kot, and I'm the president of the Polish Home Foundation in Seattle. And this is the organization that is um, that produced the festival. Welcome, everybody. I'm Danuta Motz, the director of the Polish Festival at the Seattle Center. Now, it's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you uh, Madame Council of the Republic of Poland, uh, Madame Małgorzata Cuk is the Council of uh, Culture, Science, Education, and Public Affairs, and uh, the Council uh, in Los Angeles, where she came from, has the Council uh, region that spans from Hawaii to Alaska, and, uh, and pretty much every state west of the Rockies. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon uh, to all of you. Warm welcome to Seattle Habitants, uh, to Congress Jane McDermott, and distinguished guests, and whole Polonia in Seattle. On behalf of Consul General Joanna Kozinska Prymes, who was not able to join us today, I would like to thank you all for inviting us to be a part of this wonderful event. Uh, Around 3.7 Seattle state population, sorry, Washington state population, uh, speak other than Spanish uh, Indo-European language. Among them, 0.7 speak Polish. That's a lot. And Polish festival in Seattle is uh, the proof of this community, uh, that this community counts among most active and oldest in the states, uh, in the west part of the states. Poles uh, living in Seattle work as engineers, doctors, lawyers, professors, scholars, uh, artists. Many of them create intellectual properties. Many of them work for the biggest companies in Washington, like Boeing, Starbucks, Microsoft. Congressman McDermott, uh, who was born in Chicago, has been definitely exposed to Polish enthusiasm and work, working abilities. Um, and I'm sure must have shared them having the experiences of having to work as a student in order to pay for his education. Many polls do the same. With his 12th term at the Congress, Mr. McDermott definitely knows how to recognize the needs of the community, including these people who came to here, to, who came to Washington many years ago, sometimes even four generations ago. Thus, I would like to thank you very much for supporting the JOLT Act, which will enable Poles at home uh, a free travel to the United States. Uh, Poles are not a threat to the United States. We are friends uh, of, the, of this country and we proved it for many, many years, even as centuries, I would say. We proved this on many numerous occasions. We helped build in this country and we still do this. But today's event is not about politics. We are here to enjoy the wonderful event, the colorful Polish culture, the history, the arts. So thank you very much for coming. And please enjoy the taste of Polish delicious food. Uh, look at the wonderful exhibits which were prepared by the organizers of this event and celebrate a great atmosphere and soul of Poland here. I would like to thank you, all the organizers, all, all the supporters of this event, and please enjoy this, this event. Thank you very much for inviting us again. And I was asked, and that's my huge privilege to say, that I declare the first ever Polish festival in Seattle open. So let me introduce uh, uh, Honorable U.S. Congressman Jim McDermott. Uh, Mr. McDermott is the congressman for the 7th District, uh, which includes uh, Capitol Hill and Polish Hall, uh, that is Polish Cultural Center in Seattle. And he has been a supporter of Polish causes, notably supporting the visa waiver program that we all wait for, you know, for the uh, 
uh, opposed to be able to come to the United States without a visa. And he also uh, made it possible for interns from Poland to work at his office. Congressman. Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, want to begin by thanking Teresa Davis for her efforts on behalf of the Polish community. I was surprised when I realized that this was the first time that Poland, that the Polish community had had a festival here in Seattle Center. I know about the, the Heritage uh, uh, group, and uh, I know that the Italians are over there in the Seattle Center, and I thought to myself, why has why it taken so long? So I'm glad to see it starting, and I'm honored to be here at the first, at the opening of the very first time. Uh, I'll be back. I was born in Chicago, uh, which of course you all know is the second largest Polish city in the world. Uh, and uh, I, uh, we had some people across the street named uh, Rozowski who uh, cooked Polish food and did the whole thing. And I used to ask my mother, why don't you go over and learn from Mrs. Rozowski how to make those paruszkis and all the things that uh, you, I see out here in the food stalls. I, I, your culture is a wonderful one. And um, I had the opportunity in the Congress to visit both, pro, uh, both uh, Warsaw and Krakow. Uh, in 1980, 1990, right after the wall fell. So I saw Poland at uh, the time that it was just emerging from the Soviet domination. I recently read a book uh, which is apropos of this event. This is a part of the next 50 years at Seattle Center. As you know, we had a, we had a uh, festival in 1962 and this is 50 years later to look at where we've been and where we're going. I recently read a book by George Friedman called The Next Hundred Years. And he says in it that Poland will be one of the three countries that the United States has a very strong relationship with. Turkey, Poland, and Japan. And it's a fascinating uh, book in the sense of most people, if you ask them those three three most important countries in the next hundred years, they would not name those three countries. But in fact, Poland is emerging rapidly uh, from what uh, they were uh, experiencing under the Soviets, and they are, are really leading uh, Europe, and certainly leading Central Europe. I, uh, this morning I got up as I was thinking about what I was going to say today, and I thought about uh, Tadeusz Kosciuszko. And I thought, I'm going to read about him. And so I went to my computer, my iPad, and I opened it up, and I couldn't think how to spell Kaczkuczko. <laughs> so I'm trying to every, every way I can think of uh, that it might be spelled. Finally, I picked up the phone and I called Mike Waski, who I think is probably somewhere here in the audience, about quarter to eight, and said, spell Kaczkuczko for me. So I, he did. But you know, Kaczkuczko was very important to this country. He was the engineer that developed all the uh, fortifications for the Revolutionary Army. Had it not been for him, there were many battles that we would have lost because he picked the right spot and put up fortifications that helped. So there is a long history of Polish involvement in the United States. He was a good friend of Thomas Jefferson. And uh, it is uh, it's important for people to know, because I think sometimes we forget in all this talk about um, immigrants and all that sort of thing, that people forget we were all immigrants once. Practically speaking, everybody came from somewhere else. And everybody has contributed to this country. And everybody has brought things that it's important for you to keep the dances up and keep the language and keep the food and all of that as a part of becoming e pluribus unum. Out of many, we become one. This country is made up of immigrants. And the Poles have played a very important part in that. Uh, there's a trade, minister, a trade group coming uh, in this month from uh, Poland. And next month, the Boeing company is going to deliver the first Dreamliner to Lut Airlines. So there's a tie that's going on, and, and there are Polish engineers and Polish doctors and all through this city who have played a major part in what has gone on. You should be very proud of yourself. That's why it was important when some people came from the community and they said, um, would you sign on to the bill? that would make it visa easy to come into this country. Why do we have to have a visa coming from Poland? And I was glad to sign on because I think that 
you certainly are no enemies, as the as the council said. Uh, you are not enemies in the United States, and you don't have to be screened. So I thought that it ought to be that was, the door was open for Polish people to come and visit. Now I have. One last thing to say here. This is a town that is a soccer nut town, as you know. The Sounders are doing very well. We have the biggest crowds in the whole United States. We have uh, a wonderful team. And uh, this is the scarf of the Polish national soccer team, which was given to me at the, uh, at the trade association a few weeks ago. Somebody saw me with it today and said, you still got it. Of course I got it. A soccer scarf is important. And I really think that this organization ought to be thinking about maybe making it possible for Poland to come and play a friendly game against the Sounders. I mean, maybe if you can't get the Polish team to get the dance or somebody, maybe our sister city, Gdynia, to come and play here. It would be a real important way to deepen the ties because Soccer is international. It's everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. That was beautiful. Please join us right here on the stage for wonderful performances, music, and dances. Let's celebrate Polish culture and traditions. Let's celebrate Next 50. Serdecznie zapraszamy.